Hey guys, it's uh, Kevin, East Cape, uh, eastcapecanoes.com. We're taking a different approach today. Uh, instead of uh, you guys actually just listening, I'm going to be able to point stuff out and explain things hopefully a little bit better. But what you're looking at now is a 2010 Lossman. But what's unique about this boat is, first of all, it's going to the Bahamas. Uh, it's going to be our first Lossman over there on the islands. I'm sure there'll be more coming. Uh, this is replacing an old boat for a well-known captain over there. He needed something a little bit more stable, a little bit more shallow, and obviously a lot more storage. And obviously price point is always a, con uh, a concern. So what we have here is we have the uh, center console, which you can see right here, but it has the jump seat on it. Now what's inside this jump seat is that it's also a cooler, dry storage, or it could be plumbed for a live well. Instead of having the drain on the side like some of the other brands, we actually go through uh, the floor inside where you just pull the plug and all the water and everything will drain through its stringer and channel system. Uh, and then the other thing that uh, makes this boat unique is the color, of course, so it can have that Bahamian feel. We have two shades of green. We have like an apple green on the hull, and then we have like a, uh, I don't know what kind of green you'd call it, a jade or a uh, guide green on the top. Uh, it was a custom color to his specs. We also have a removable casting, or uh, excuse me, a removable backrest. And it also folds up and down, as I'm going to show right here. In the down position, in the up position, if you're going to run with it up, you just take a little bungee or double strap Velcro, and you go ahead and put it on there. Or if you want it off, you just take the Allen bolts, boom, it comes right off. This customer wanted a taller platform to uh, accommodate his jack plate and tunnel design. He also wanted two steps instead of one, and he wanted them to be flat. Uh, Eastcape, we're the only manufacturer to have an in-house weld shop out here in the southeast U.S. Uh, another cool thing about the boat is uh, uh, its build. It's got the new layup for 2010. It has a new core, new, core, new glass, uh, totally new layup. Uh, again, we vacuum infuse everything on the boat. We're one of the few companies that do infusion, and actually we're the only company that does over 95% vacuum infusion. And... Um, now, that is true aerospace and uh, uh, military technology being used. The other thing that we have going on here is we have an aluminum railing trailer. Okay, the boat is obviously going to go through detail here in a little bit. Uh, he's got his insulated cooler in the front, and he's got the huge bow storage up front. The other thing is because a lot of these guys, they don't know their clientele, and his clients are getting older with him, we have a removable leaning bar. This is designed so the client can lean against this coming from the front deck and leans against this, and this is at uh, you know waist or thigh level, depending on the height of the client. The other thing is, is the old rumor is uh, cut the boat in half. Uh, the front half of the boat is actually for the clients. They put all their storage in here, um, plenty of storage for the client. And then their cooler and drinks are in here. And then if they need more storage, obviously you go to that route. And then the back half of the boat belongs to the captain. This is where all his gear goes, and he even, ha he even has the, uh, you know, the lockable rear doors. Uh, very nice option to have. Um, it's just a pretty boat. Let's walk around to the back of the boat, and we can actually talk about the back here. Uh, this gentleman wanted a three-blade heavy cup prop. He decided to go with the tried-and-true Yamaha 52-stroke. Uh, we still get a few of these left. And then, of course, our vented tunnel design. What the vented tunnel allows you to do is obviously it gets rid of the suction. And then what that does is that uh, increases the speed, makes uh, takeoffs easier, and etc. cetera. Uh, if you need a tunnel, we've got the tunnel design down pat. Um, as you can see, the bullet is level with the bottom of the boat. And you can see the, t uh, the tunnel. It's about 35, 36 inches long. And it's got a flap over it, and it has a vent. And that vent allows it to breathe. And basically what happens is water goes this way, air goes through, and then out the hole. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, a design that works well on our skiffs. Uh, again, you know, I'd like to think it's proprietary to our boats. We, we do all our developing in-house uh, through trial and uh, also through our customers. The other tunnel like this is also in the Bahamas. And uh, his name is Captain Jody Alberry. And Captain Jody actually is one of the guys that helped us design this tunnel. If we come over here... You can see the trailer, see the boat, again, the storage, just a lot of little things on this, on this boat that make it so good. Again, if you're sitting at home and you're thinking, you know, hey, I need a new skiff, and you're looking at us and we're on the list, I tell you straight up, you need to come to the shop. 
You need to come see the way we build. You need to look at the fit and finish. And lastly, you need to look at the price point of our boats. The price point of the boat is where it matters. Um, you can have quality. You can have the finest and you know the greatest and all the other hoopla that you hear out there. But at East Cape, we keep it real. And uh, here it is. Here's our first lossman going to Bahamas. And uh, on behalf of East Cape, I'd like to say thank you, Captain Buddy Pender. Take care, brother. Thank you for believing in us. Uh, I, I hope you get many bonefish on this, and uh, a lot of your clients are happy. Take care.